I, I, I think for me, um, first of all, it's really a really sad experience right now all over the world, you know. Over 60 countries have confirmed that they have cases, you know, and the cases really shook, especially the Europe, you know, the Americas. And, but, you know, surprisingly, Africa is not really in a bad state as it's expected to have been. But, you know, the truth about it is that a lot of people are saying that maybe it's a husk, well, maybe it's true, maybe it's false or something. But the, but the most important thing is whether it is true or false, in quote, it will still affect the economy. A lot of prices of things have skyrocketed, you know, on the retail side. Now, um, Mac, yes, um, oil price is actually going down. So people that are depending on oil, you know, it's affecting them. Tourism is gone, aviation is gone, different things. But, you know, the truth about it is that this is not the first time this kind of things have happened. We've had um, Ebola, we've had different types of, you know, diseases that have come. So, yes, yeah, SARS and even the flu itself. Yes, beautiful. Now, but the most important thing is that it's meant to be like a wake-up call. What is your contingency plan? What do you do now? How do you, you know, do your business or your, how do you survive now? And then we need to be able to control what exactly goes on on the social media space. Because 80% of the fear that is going on is what we see on social space. You know, it's good to always investigate it and then get, you know, authentic responses, authentic reasoning, authentic. Because I saw one day that somebody said that, look, because of coronavirus, the solution is garlic, you know. Now buy garlic now and everything. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and everybody just sharing it because of yeah. Alcohol-based. Yeah. So, you know, consume some more alcohol. Yes. Yeah, and I'm looking for the ones with the higher percentage of alcohol. The higher the... Bitter cola. I've had onions mixed with garlic, you know, <laughs> mashed up. Salt. Salt. Did, did you see? Did you see the way people were dressing in certain countries for this um, coronavirus? You know, they converted all these uh, large bottles for juice and yeah. used that face mask. They don't even want it to penetrate mm -hmm. nylon. Mm -hmm. Let it go to the plastic. Come yeah. on. I saw a signal from um, Dubai government that every mall, every theme park, every place where people gather must be shut down till um, a certain period. And I, and I couldn't believe it. I saw pictures and videos of London Heathrow Airport. I, I saw videos of Dubai um, Duty Free, that is the airport. Nobody. So the aviation people that have to survive on, you know, passenger traveling, all are going down. The multiplier effect is that, yes, it goes back to their houses. How would they pay their rents? How would they pay their school fees for their children? How would they buy food? I was telling somebody yesterday, see, this is like an opportunity for us to all of us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful. And you know, we're already in the, in the I generation internet generation so those are the people that prefer to work from home and everything we also have the alpha generation coming so if you are still thinking like a baby bloomer all the people that are old that you believe that you need to have fiscal well, presence well, no, no 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 it's old school man it's old school so businesses need to transform as well you know into the space of tech you know using younger minds don't ignore the young minds the young minds are the people that are going to buy your products tomorrow so if you don't start thinking about them you'll be extinct and I tell some people that you know um, the retail, the guys in um, what they call this um, real estate. I was asking, okay, where are the old players of before? That they were like on every street, you see at least five or six of their signboards, but now you don't see them anymore. The new boys are on the field taking over and playing out the market because of tech. So people need to get techy survey right now. And in short, email is outdated right now. We need social mail. You must be able to communicate your message on Instagram, on, on Facebook, on, um, on Google, on Google Chat, or whatever social space you can get there and get it done. Digital it. You must digitalize it. Yes, 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 yes. And that's 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 really disruptive. I have a, an eight-year-old daughter, Sarah. Sarah is my magic daughter. Sarah, Sarah has really taught me a lot of very interesting things. Sarah comes to me, says she wants to buy something, and she carries my her own ThinkPad and comes to me, says she wants to buy an app. So I now say, okay, why? So when I thought about it, I now say, look, the people that people are buying from, are selling to now, are these small, small children. 
because you want to make them happy. Games, you know, you know, different. So you subscribe every month, and they are not doing buy one and go. Rich people make money from the back end. Poor people make money from the front end. Yes, so it, yes, I will do that. You know, I came here to cause trouble. You know, that's what I'm here for. You know, if 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 you if you if the only way you make money is you bring. Uh, maybe a product to somebody and he pays you money and both of you shake hands and go okay. that's poor a rich that's man front yes front end a, a, a rich man has a back end plan for you and it's always on subscription base they don't they're not interested in that money they get they get money from you every month you know every month so sure you yes like you know okay like look at the telephones we have now they sell it to you the, the sim card is free or near to free but where they make the money is from you making a call so once you put in an app on a project and your product depends on the activity of the app before you know what is happening you have to keep on subscribing so i could as well be sleeping in my house and be getting you know alerts like ringtones and they're making money so people need to migrate from that front end what's the back end so if you're in brick and mortar maybe you are buying and selling products and everything you need to okay what do you have as a support plan for them you know how do you restock how do you you know market them digital marketing how do you you know help them understand what's new how can they get better you know so that they, they, they become loyal to your brand because if they are not loyal to the, your brand another person will take them out